Hello, welcome back to my Thomcraft 4.1 tutorial series. So, in the last episode, I told you we would try to make the arcane lamp, and uh, I think we'll try to do that. So, the arcane lamp. And you can see in our Thomonomicon on the Artifice tab, the arcane lamp, it says click to purchase this research. One of the nice changes in 4.1 for Thomcraft is that you don't have to research everything. Um, these hexagonal tiles here, those you do not have to research. You can just click on them, and if you have enough of the aspects, so we need five lux, three census, and three tenebrae, which is darkness. If you have all that, which I do, I can click, and I just know how to build an arcane lamp now. And you can see it's got that little white symbol to show it's a new thing, and the artifice tab is now all shiny. Clicking on here, we can see arcane lamp. Mystical lamp that can be attached to walls, floors, or ceilings, and will provide strong and steady light. Additional source of light may also appear up to 16 blocks away, wherever light levels fall below accepted safe levels. Now, the awesome thing about that is I can have a giant base like this, and I can get rid of all of these torches. I don't need any of them, not a one. And things will never spawn because additional source of light will appear up to 16 blocks away from this thing. So I'll stick it in the middle, and it'll radiate out. It's really nice. So just don't build your ceiling more than 16 feet things tall and no more than 16 in any direction, and you should be good. So let me go ahead and break all my torches, and I'll show you that we would normally start to get into trouble here, but we're not going to get in trouble once we build that arcane lamp. Alright, one more. Press F7, you can see that monsters would spawn all over the place if I wasn't, you know, in here nearby. I don't think monsters spawn right next to you, so I should be still safe when it's daytime. But there's a lot of places where they could spawn, so we need to get that lamp. So, going back into our Thaumonomicon, the arcane lamp is made in an arcane workbench. That's one of those magic crafting tables. We need a daylight sensor, that's just vanilla Minecraft, iron ingots, an amber block, and some niter. An amber block. Amber is stuff that Thomcraft added. Um, you mine it and you get this amber that falls out. Let me get some and I'll show you what it looks like. This is a block of amber bearing stone. So you can you can also scan different versions of the same item. So you can scan the stone to get that and once we break it, it breaks down into amber which we can also scan. Same thing for, you know, metals. You can scan the iron ore, you can scan the iron ingots, you can scan iron nuggets, you can scan blocks of iron. Every different item type, and it's all helpful to get you more research points. So, there's amber. You find that. Uh, it's all over the place. not hard to find at all. But we needed an amber block, and an amber block is just four pieces of amber like that. It's like, a, you know, a brick pattern or something. So we also needed a daylight sensor, and we needed some iron ingots. Okay, so because we got new stuff, we are going to scan it. It's always important to scan every single thing in Thomcraft. Daylight sensor, I, I've already scanned iron I guess, and amber blocks. Okay, so now we go over to our arcane work table. We have to put our wand in the wand slot. We need the amber block, the daylight sensor, the two pieces of iron, and the niter. And it says we have insufficient V. Well, what's V? We haven't even talked about that yet. You can see these flashing symbols. So we're going to have to figure out what V is. If we go into our Thaumonomicon, back to basic information, we go into aspects of magic. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Thaumaturgy? Okay. We find it off camera. Okay. 
In the basic information tab on the auras and node, this is a basic thing you already know when you first get your Thaumonomicon. It tells you that energy that has been harvested in this manner, which is by using a wand, is known as V. So there's these things called aura nodes. So let me spawn one of those real quick to show you what it's like. And they're very hard to see, but um, I'll just place one. And you can see that I can't see it at all. You can barely tell it's there, almost impossible. If you go look with your thermometer, they're much easier to see from far away. So I go over here and I can see it. Can barely see it now. So I go over and scan the aura node. Tells me what's in it. This thing has air and ordo and terra. And most aura nodes are just going to be, you know, basic primal aspects. So get our wand back. If we go up to it, we can right click to charge our wand. You just keep holding down. Now there is a problem with this method, and the problem is that we can drain the node completely. If you drain a node completely, it might not get its aspect back. So that's a problem, but I just spawned this node just to show you, so it doesn't really matter. You can see the numbers are much lower. Terra, there's no Terra. Terra may or may not come back. It's just random. Maybe this node no longer has Terra in it from now on. You can see the air was three, now it's four. It is regenerating, but Terra, maybe it won't. So you want to be very careful when tapping your nodes, and we'll get into that in a minute. I just want to show you how you could do it, and I still don't think we have enough because I think we need some Ignis for this. Okay, we need Ignis, Ignis and Aqua, which we don't have, but we now have enough air, which you can tell by the fact that it's not blinking anymore. So we've got 25 air, 20 Terra, and 25 Ordo. Okay, so I'm just going to spawn me a wand that is full so we can do this. So here we go, here's a wand. Go back into my Thaumonomicon. How are we going to make that arcane lamp? Daylight sensor, amber block, iron, and niter. We need four Perdicio, four aqua. I think that's eight air and eight ignis. The font is pretty small in Thaumcraft, so. But you can see it's using 8.8 .8 of air and ignis, 4.4 .4 Perdicio and aqua. Why is that? Because iron capped wooden wands have a penalty. Your first wand is not good. You need to build better wands. We'll talk about that later, but for now, all you need to know is that iron capped wooden wands are going to have 110% V cost. So instead of 4, it's 4.4. That's just the way it has to be. We'll get better wands soon. But here we go. We made this arcane lamp. Nice. And you can see our wand is drained. We've lost the 8.8 .8 and the 4.4 .4 of the two things we were having in there. The iron cap wooden wand can hold 25 of each aspect. That's the max it can hold. All right, let me get some scaffolding so I can stand up here somewhere. I'm gonna put it in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Press F7 to see that all my spots are still bad here. I went up too high. Now it's not immediately going to fix our problem. It's going to take a while for it to figure out it needs to spawn light sources. But can you see the little glimmers of light flowing around? See all the red is gone now. It's already figured out these are not good places. It hasn't done, okay, just did that, but there was the glimmer of light. It hasn't done them all yet because right now these are still safe light levels. They're still fine as long as daylight's here, so it may not figure out it needs to put light there until night. But once it does, it should be good for, you know, as long as you need it to be. It's pretty good. So the arcane lamp is a very nice tool. Now, we didn't scan it, and we should have, oh, shift right click you get a lot more aspects from complex built things. I'll let the sun go down so those can turn so it can figure out it needs to put light there. Alright, I'm gonna go off camera and find something else to do. 
Actually, you know what? I'm not. I think I know what else we're going to do. So, I told you about the iron cap wooden wand and our penalties for it, and about nodes and how you could drain the node. So, looks like we did regenerate Terra from this, so I didn't kill this node of all its Terra, but, um, you know, that's always a possibility when you drain a node like that. So what we need to do is figure out a better way to do our V tapping. So if we go into our Thaumonomicon, we see advanced node tapping, taking it all. We'll get a research note for this. Okay, so, oh, okay, here's something interesting, a question mark. That means this has an aspect we don't understand. We don't know about one of these aspects in here. So I'm going to have to go figure out which one this is. And when I come back, we'll be able to fill that in. Back in a flash. Okay, according to the Feed the Beast wiki, and I think what I'm missing is permutatio, which is change. And that's supposed to be um, modus and aqua. So I will research aqua and modus and it looks like that was correct. I have gained three research points for permutatio. I have discovered permutatio. And anytime you first find an aspect, you'll get two bonus points for it, just so you know. By the way, um, I wanted to make it clear that walls do not stop the arcane lamp. It's 16 blocks, so it's only eight that way and eight that way. This base I made inside a single chunk, um, that's just the way I like to do bases, but it will go and put light outside too, so things aren't going to spawn in the immediate vicinity of my base, which is also kind of handy. Uh, that creeper's been there since day one. I haven't killed it yet, but, uh, you know, other than him, they're not going to spawn. Now, things will spawn farther away and come down here if I don't, you know, make it daytime, but more things aren't going to spawn right over here. You can also scan pretty much any block from a mod other than Industrial Craft 2, IC2, Beta 2, the, the 2.0 beta version for 1.64 and 1.7, well, I, I probably don't have 1.7, but um, you, I don't think you can scan anything from that. I'm not sure why there's no aspects for those, but um, most other mods are compatible and have Thaumcraft aspects. I think just IC2 is the beta. He hasn't done stuff for that, so a few things you can, like um, I think the Industrial Craft version of Bronze you can, but almost Everything else in IC2, you can't scan. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's get back to what we were doing, which is the research. And you can see the symbol is permutatio. It's now not a question mark. So now I can go figure out how to connect these. I'll be right back after I've done that. Okay, I'm back. And I want to show you this before I click off of it. So I've got one point for modus. I drag it over here to complete the research. It's now grayed out. But I can still shift click and get more modus if I need to. So, so here is our completed line. Orem has air in it. Air is in Velatus. Velatus is made up of Motus. Permutatio has Motus. Permutatio has Aqua. Aqua is in uh, Venet, whatever poison is. Um, Exanimus has poison in it. Exanimus, I'm sorry, this is Mortus. Mortus is in poison, and Mortus is in Ex Animus, which is undead. Ex Animus also has Motus. Motus is in Velatus. Air is in Velatus. Air is in Vacuos, and Vacuos is in Precantatio. There we go, advanced note tapping. So, what's this going to do for us? Sorry, I need a drink. Open the Thaumonomicon. And we look into advanced node tapping. Usually the process of drawing V from a node is quite slow, but not anymore. We've discovered a more efficient way of tapping into or a node, resulting in doubling of the V draw rate. So that's kind of nice. It was kind of slow to, death to get all that stuff. Let's spawn another node, and I'll show you how slow it was. So there we go. We'll scan that. And this is an unstable node. I don't, I don't know what that means. I think it's going to do bad things to us, but um, we'll get rid of it in a minute. All right, so where's my empty wand? Here it is. 
if I right click, you probably have to go back in the video to see that that's faster, but that's faster. It's a lot faster. All right, let's see here. Now, you can also break a node with a pick. I don't recommend it in most cases because um, nodes are kind of rare, but they do drop this ethereal essence stuff, which is handy. It's a good source of um, Aurum when you're scanning stuff. In fact, it might be the only source of Aurum. <laughs> okay, but you can also get that from killing Wisp. You don't have to break Aura nodes at all. And um, most of the time, I'd recommend you don't break Aura nodes. I just did that to show you that you could, and because I may, I spawn that node. So, okay, double the V draw rate. That's nice, but um, how handy is it really? Well, the handy part is it unlocks these things. The master node tapping and the node preserver. The node preserver is the one that we want. It's going to make sure that we don't drain a node and kill it. So, let's get the research note for that. Put it in our table. Okay, I'm going to go figure out how to do this. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm not going to show you all the research um, as far as how everything connects together every time. I'm doing it so far just to show you how the research game is played. Um, it's a little bit confusing at first. It's not anywhere near as bad as 4.0 was, because 4.0 was just... I'm sorry, it was impossible. But um, this one is, is doable. There's actually a cheat thing I found. Um, someone wrote a script that helps you build these connections, and it's pretty good, but um, Azenor changed a lot of the aspect combinations in 4.1F, so his script needs modification. So um, it's it's on GitHub, and uh, it's got a, um, a Creative Commons license, so I think I'll modify that and put that up somewhere uh, for people to use if they want, and um, <clears throat> see about that. But for now, I'll show you how we did this one. So, Lucrum has FAMS in it, or FAMS, I don't know, which has Vacuos, which has Air, Air is in Lux, Air is in Lux, Air is in Aurum, Air is in Aurum, Air is in Vacuos, Vacuos is in Tenebrae, Lux is in Tenebrae, Lux has Air in it, Census has Air in it. So, you can see it's made up, Air is made or sorry, census is made up of air, air is in census. So, just want to make sure we've got the game playing down before I stop showing you all these connection things. <clears throat> Alright, node preserver. This is the one that's going to help us not kill our nodes. Right click that, go into our Thalmanomicon, node preserver. You now have better control over the amount of V you draw from nodes. You will always leave at least one V of each aspect in the node unless you are sneaking. Be warned, this level of control is not possible when using wands crafted from normal wood and iron. In other words, although we have that, it's not going to work for our iron capped wooden wand. Let me go sleep through the night, check the time. If we have enough time, I'll show you how to make a new wand, and we'll show you how we can do node preserver. Be right back. Okay, we're running close on time, so I'll make this quick. Back in the Thaumonomicon, under the Thaumaturgy tab, over by Basic Wandcraft, they have the Great Wood Wand Core and Gold Wand Caps. I want to click on each of those to get a research note. I'll be back after I've researched them. Okay, research completed. So, the Great Wood Wand Core is made in an arcane workbench with two Great Wood Logs and what is that, three Prodicio? So let me make sure I've got an iron cap one that's full. I don't think I do. Put that in here and two great wood logs. We need 3.3 because remember 110% V cost with the iron cap wooden wand. But now we can make the great wood rod. That's going to be the core of our new wand. And we also wanted to make these gold wand caps. Why do we want gold wand caps? Because instead of 110% penalty, or 10% penalty, there's no penalty for using gold wand caps. So it's better than iron. They also have copper, um, which I forget what the benefit of copper is, but I think of... Uh, well, we're going to do gold for now because we're running out of time. Gold caps are just like iron caps, but you have to make them in an arcane workbench. They need three ordo, uh, three Ignis and three Air. 
So we're going to make two of them. Gold nugget, way out just like that in the helmet pattern. 3.3, 3.3, 3.3, and we need two of them. All right, so let's see here. I'm trying to figure out where it tells you how much you'd, you'd know or how well, okay, not the point. Okay, so to make a wand, you have to use the arcane workbench. I'm not quite sure where it tells you you need that, but I'm sure it probably does. Wand in the middle, just like the stick before. Gold caps, just like that. And we can produce a gold band of great wood wand if we've got... Looks like they wanted 9 of each aspect with 110% 100%, cost. It's 9.9 .9 for each of them. But there we go, a gold banded great wood wand. And now we can use Node Preserver. So if I had another node, there's one. I will scan it. And you can see it's a normal bright node. It's got tons of stuff. Okay, so the Great Wood Wand Core can store 50 V of each type. You know that because it tells you in the Great Wood Wand Core section of the Thaumonomicon. So instead of 25 for your Iron Wand, your Great Wood Wand can store 50. But there's not 50 of Perdicio in there, or Terra for that matter, and I can't tell if that says on air. It's either 49 or 79, I can't tell. So we're just going to right click and we're going to start draining. And you just keep holding down because now we've got a good wand and we have Node Preserver. We're not going to kill this node. There's another research. Okay, let's see here. So now you can see they're all one. It didn't take 100% of any of them, left one of each type in there. And now we have 48, 33, and 23 of Air, Terra, and Perdicio respectively. So that's a great way to preserve your nodes, which is going to be very important because you're not going to be able to spawn them like I'm doing. You have to go out and search for them in the real world, and they're just kind of rare. I will show you one in the real world at some point. Um, okay, that's a good wrapping up point. I'll see you next time.